Welcome to this week's edition of Coach Prep. Coach Don and I are here in the Cherokee Batting Range podcast studio getting ready to record episode number 77. Today we're going to talk about an interesting topic about trying versus doing. So before we do that, let's talk about our sponsors. First off, we're going to talk about the Anderson Bat Company. Everything Fast Pitch is proud to announce that the Anderson Bat Company is becoming our presenting sponsor. In 2021, Anderson is producing the minus 9 Rocket Tech, the minus 10 Carbon, and the minus 11 Carbon Light. You get all the power with a great feel. It's the latest and greatest bat technology. Check out andersonbat.com if you have any questions. And let's talk about Patreon on patreon.com slash everythingfastpitch. If you are in a position where you can help us financially, we would love for you to become a patron. There are three different levels of support. We do a lot of things uh, for you as a reward for becoming a patron, uh, but your financial support of Everything Fast Pitch and Coach Prep is really, really important to us. It's what's keeping the wheels turning. Um, Coach Don and I are not getting rich doing the podcast business. That I can tell you for sure, but we love getting the opportunity to do it, and we just cannot afford to keep losing money doing it. So if you can help us, if you feel like you're getting some benefit from it, if you're in a position where you can become a patron, we would certainly love for you to do that Uh, because we want to keep it on the free side. We don't want to become a subscription service. The patrons who are supporting us are helping that happen, and we really do appreciate it. So, Don, our topic today is trying, and this is something, lots of different catchphrases, all kinds of different uh, memes and GIFs and stuff out there of of people, uh, you know, with Yoda and different pictures of, you know, there is no try, just do, and all that stuff. But I wanted us to talk about it because we hear it all the time when we're coaching. You talk to a player about working on a skill. You talk to them about improving something about their game, and they always come back with, I'm trying. Do we need to hear that I'm trying? The trying thing, to me, translates into a little bit of a different perspective, I think, than what the players think when they say they're trying. Trying, to me, means I'll do it until it gets really hard, and then I'm going to stop. That means it's over. Right. That's the problem that I think we have to understand as coaches and try to help our players understand that trying is one of those things that we use it as a way of kind of a built-in excuse so that if we don't get it, if we can't do it, if it never gets done, that it's not really our fault. There's really no blame to be attached to it. It just, you know, it just wasn't meant to be. I tried and, and it just didn't happen. But do you think, Tori, there's some failure built into the process of actually becoming or getting whatever that task is done? Well, absolutely. And yeah. I think that's why the trying part of it is such a trap that kids fall into. They try, and then when they fail, they think that means that they can't do it. That it's over. They try, and they make a couple of mistakes, and they think it's too hard, and they give up. They try, and they get embarrassed a little bit because they're not good at something, and because they're embarrassed about it, they think it's not worth it, and so they stop the pursuit. And that, to me, is the challenge for us as coaches, is changing the mindset of our kids, getting them to understand that trying is just a built-in excuse. The example I use all the time, and maybe the youngest kids don't get this yet, but definitely you know the teenagers and older get it. So if somebody asks you to go to a birthday party for a kid that you don't want to go to, what do you say? I'll try. I'll try. And you say I'll try knowing you have no intention of ever going. Just to get out of that moment. Yeah. If somebody says you know that we're going to go to a movie on Friday night and you don't want to go see the movie, do you say... Well, no, I'm not interested. I'm not going to that movie because I think that movie's going to be boring. You say, well, I'll try and see if I can get there. Well, the try is the built-in <laughs> excuse that we all you know, have kind of grown up using to make it okay for us not doing what really needs to get done or what might <laughs> need to get done. Now, obviously, going to a movie is a choice. You don't have to do that. But if we're talking about softball players trying to improve their hitting, trying to improve their pitching, trying to improve their defense, trying and doing are two different things. And again, that's a Yoda logic. You know, there is no try, you know, just do. When Luke is whining about I'm trying and Yoda says that is why you fail, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know, Mr. Miyagi, you know, logic. There's all kinds of those, you know, sage movie experts that are really good at helping people get past the idea of trying. What we want to do is is help our players stop trying and start doing. So I know when you're a coach and you're giving that feedback and you're you're saying, hey, keep your hands up, keep your hands up. It's like, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I know you're trying. Yeah, but I'm how's just, that working out for you? I'm just trying to uh, to continue to encourage you to do the right thing. Yeah, I think for all of us, you know, the, the getting rid of trying and replacing it with doing is a, is a mindset that we have to work on. And so if I do the best I can and I don't make it, I know I did the best I could. If I, if I do the best I can, that's a whole lot different than trying to do my best. 
So right? If I work hard, that's different than trying to work hard. No matter the outcome. Right. We put forth, yeah. And what starts to happen is that instead of having a built-in excuse for not accomplishing, because we're more invested in accomplishing whatever that goal is, I think it increases the likelihood that we're going to succeed. For us as coaches working with our players, you know, we need to start to correct them. We need to start catching them. And we need to catch ourselves too, because it's a real easy trap to fall into. You know, we talk all the time about stop saying don't. Right. But then, you know, no matter how hard, you know, you try, you know, it you, slips out. It, it'll, it will still slip out. I, I will still catch myself periodically. And I know how stupid it is. I know it doesn't work. <laughs> But every once in a while, I'll say it, and then, but, but because I'm experienced enough at it now, if I make that mistake, I catch it right away, and I can, I can correct then it. Then you immediately yeah. give the positive. And so if, right. if I start off saying, Don, don't, before I probably even finish the sentence, I've already caught myself, and I say, wait, wait a second, let me, let me rephrase that. Don, I need you to. Right. The more we work at this, the more we can accomplish that. And as a coach, if one of your players you know, asks you for some guidance or asks you for some extra help, and you, you, know, you respond with, well, I'm trying to do the best I can. I'll, I'll try to make extra time. You know, if a player says, well, coach, could you meet me 15 minutes early before practice uh, next time so we can work on my backhand? And you say, well, I'll try to be there. The chances are pretty so, good. The player's not going to show up either because they already know that when you say try, that they really know that you're not committed we, let, to it. Let's plan to do that. Right. right? Coaches, we've got to be the first part of solving this problem. We've got to stop trying. We've got to start doing. We've got to stop setting our players up with thinking it's acceptable for them to have this built-in excuse. So we need to model it by taking the word try out of our vocabulary. We need to stop trying, start doing. Say, I will. So instead of, well, let's try to improve on our throwing. Say, well, we're going to improve our throwing. Instead of trying to do better with our first and third play. We're, we're going to correct our first and third play. And just that little simple change in how we say it and how we present it just feels so much different. If I say, well, Don, we're going to try to fix our first and third play. How okay. optimistic are you? That, that means maybe we won't. Yeah. Or if I say, Don, we're going to fix our first and third play today. I feel like we might. Yeah, we're going to do uh, it. Yeah. The, 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 the likelihood of it happening just went up a yeah. pretty high chunk. Um, it's up to us as coaches to fix that, and we need to start modeling it. We need to make sure that we're doing a better job of helping our players. So now what does that mean? That when we hear a player say, I'm going to try, we need to call them on it. And if that means you've got to say, wait a second, you said try, are you going to do it or are you not going to do it? So even if we don't accomplish it, we're going to say it in a manner that's going to make us feel like we're, we're, we're working going towards to do it. getting it done. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do it. And if we start to approach it that way and get our players to start to approach it that way, they're going to have a lot more success. We're going to be a whole lot happier. And we're going to start to see that the things that we used to try to do that never got done, more of them get done. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be the perfect you know, golden ticket to solving every issue that every team has. And it might not be that day. But the more we do, the less we try, the more success we're going to have. That's, uh, I think, an absolute. And I think for all of us as coaches, it's time for us to kind of buy into this idea because... We all know when we say, you know, as adults, if somebody invites you to the Christmas party that you don't really want to go to, I know you're going to say, I'll try to get there. But as soon as you say it, you know, you're not going. So if we know that that's true for us as adults, and we know that that's already a built in excuse that we use to get out of doing things we don't really want to do, picture how easy it is for your players who really don't want to do the extra 50 swings. They don't really want to do the extra 25 ground balls. They don't really want to come early for practice or stay late for practice to work on something. When they say try, they really mean no. I want, yes, sir, I will. And so if we can start to get uh, those players to buy into this idea, I think we're going to go a long way. So what does trying really mean? Trying means I'm going to do it until it gets really hard and then I'm going to stop. So instead of trying, let's start doing, because doing means I'm doing it. And we're getting there. And we're going to get there. Yep. And as you said earlier, Don, doesn't mean we're going to get there today, but if I keep doing it, eventually I'm going to get there. If I keep doing it, I'm going to get a whole lot further than I'm ever going to get with the TRY. Hopefully that helps, coaches. There's something for you to ponder on. Um, and the more we can start to change the mindset and change the attitudes and get kids thinking about all that they can accomplish instead of you know, worrying about what they might and thinking about what they might, um, I think we're going to be a whole lot happier. So Don, anything else for 77? No, hoping for a great week again, Tori. Absolutely. So for Coach Don McKinley and our producer, Stan Lewis, this is Coach Tori. 
Uh, wrapping up episode number 77, please contact us at everythingfastpitch at gmail.com or fastpitchprep at gmail.com. If you have any questions or comments, ideas, suggestions, uh, we're certainly looking forward to hearing from you. Check out Anderson Bad Company and patreon.com slash everythingfastpitch. <laughs>